Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, as you very well know by now, there's been a, a devastating mass shooting in Livingston, Maine. I mean, not Livingston, Lewiston, Maine. And uh, they have a quote unquote person of interest all the while of saying suspect at the same time. So they say they know who did it, basically. I don't know why they're covering it up, you know, or saying it like that. But the guy is uh, Robert Card. And the situation with Mr. Card that I don't understand and like it's just a different road I'm going down with this whole thing. But before I do that, let me say this. It's very unfortunate that this happened to innocent people. And this happens all the time, all over the, uh, America. And um, my personal opinion, I don't think enough is done to prevent it. You never know when it's going to strike. But I mean, it's not. It's one of those things where mental illness does play a role in it most of the time, like the situation with this guy right here. But I think a lot of this, I think somebody need to be held accountable for this because I think somebody dropped the ball somewhere down the line with dealing with this situation. And I think this might have been prevented or could have been prevented or at least seen where there wasn't as many people hurt. Now, you're hearing a lot of people died. You're hearing a lot of people were injured. The numbers, depending on what news channel or platform you go on can be anywhere between 18 dead to 22 dead 50 to 60 injured to 16 injured so you don't you never you, you can't really you don't know but and i'm not saying that matters the reason why i made this video guys is simply this if you look at the background of this man of what they said on tv he's in the army he's he's a uh weapons uh a trainer, a small arms expert, trainer, instructor in the army. So I guess he teaches, you know, people to use guns, right? Or, you know, hold the weapon, defensive, offensive gestures with the weapon, just all the stuff uh, people teach you with small arms, how to break a gun down, so on and so forth. You guys know where I'm going with this. This guy knows firearms. If you look at the picture of the gun he was holding, they said it was an AR type weapon. If you look at that scope on that, that, that thing, I'm sure it got a red or green dot on it. So, I mean, he could just basically look and shoot if the scope is uh, tuned in and just hit whatever he wants. That's why I think it was so many mass casualties. Now, this guy know how to use weapons. Now, we're going to keep all this going. This guy know how to use weapons. He was in the mental institute for two weeks, committed just recently. What was it, a couple weeks back? Saying he heard voices. The typical uh, stuff said he wanted to shoot up the National Guard post out there or the National Guard base while he's in the military himself. If that is not a major black flag or red flag, or whatever you want to call it, to where this guy needs to be watched, I don't know what is. You released him after two weeks. I don't know what, what, what he came across, some type of medication that worked for him. You prescribed him. And you've seen a change in his character. Say, so you said, OK, there's no reason to keep him here. Another thing. Was the military notified? Well, they got to be notified. But then again, he supposedly was in the reserves. Reserves is like being a regular person out here, except you give, you know, a week of yourself. To serve your country in uh, the military, were they even notified? Because I said he was in there two weeks. Because something. He was already triggered. It just came out to where he just snapped at that time. But the signs were there that something was not right with this guy. This, this guy. You guys agree or disagree? Something was not right with him. You want to shoot up people? Then you said you had uh, hearing voices in your head. They committed this guy. If he was committed, was the military notified? And if so, what steps did they take? 
Because, I mean, honestly, the military don't mess around. When you got crazy problems like this, they get you out of there because the government don't want to, uh, no blame with dealing with something like this. Somewhere down the line, there was a breach in communication or somebody didn't fill in their paperwork to where this guy should have been watched. That's the thing. When you have people in positions like this that suffer from mental illness, they talk about doing harm to others. And they have a position like him where he could really do harm to others. This guy is a weapons, uh, weapons expert. And he used weapons to commit carnage on people that had nothing to do with it. Somebody dropped the ball out there. I wonder if the, the I don't know, because, I mean, this guy just popped up and this wouldn't make national news if it was. What if when he got committed, some officials, military officials came and said, hey, you know, we're going to let you go from the military. And that caused him to snap. Because, I mean, he put a threat on a government institution while working for a government institution, the U.S. military. A government agency. They take that ser very seriously. Even if you mention it, it's still considered a threat to national security. Because he could have shot anyone or went anywhere and started that shooting spree. Now they said this guy started in a bar, a bowling alley. They said he shot up a bar, a bowling alley, and somebody said an Amazon, uh, an Amazon uh, warehouse. All over the place. You don't know where he was at. I mean, I he used he supposedly he got two confirmed locations of where this guy went shooting at. Bunch of people that didn't have nothing to do with it. Then he left. They got his car and all this other stuff. And he's on a loose. And they're telling people in what is it, Lisbon? What was it called? Lisbon and uh the other place, Lewiston. Stay indoors. They gotta close a, a they close everything down till they find this guy. In return, in, in, in referral, why I keep saying refer? In reference to that, I don't think this guy will be caught alive. Because whatever he snapped and went off on and he wasn't arrested, he know he's seen the news. He know the carnage he's committed. Either he's waiting for one or two things to bang out with the cops and get suicide by a cop and have a shootout. Or he's just going to off himself when the pressure gets too high. Whether or not he, he snapped or this was just already in him and he was planning this, because they don't know this yet. Either way, he gonna come down off that high and then reality going to set in. He's going to be like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to prison for the rest of my life. I'm going to make them kill me or I'm going to kill myself. That's just my, my, my opinion. I think that this guy right here could have been stopped. I mean, especially with the part where the military, you threaten the military and the military knew and they're like, you know, it's a record of you committing yourself and saying you wanted to do harm to others. So it's documented. Who let him out? That's why they got the FBI and all that. They're going to go through all that paperwork. Somebody going to be on the hook for this. They should be on the hook for this. Because I'm going to tell you something. You got somebody with a prominent position like he did being in the military He's a trainer. This is not no recruit or a cadet or, you know, a private or something like this. This guy's been in the military. He did some time in the military. Now he's in the reserves. He's in a leadership teaching position where he teaches other people about guns, how to use guns, different tactics. This is not your average mass shooter. This is a dangerous guy. Now. I don't know if they was like, hey, you know, and like this is the reason why I say somebody dropped the ball. I don't know how the procedures are, but I mean, honestly, this guy's around guns. He's teaching people using live ammunition. So I'm sure the military had to be contacted and let him go. Hey, you know, we're going to terminate your uh, commitment because we feel as though you unsafe with the situation. And this. just a matter of, you know, national safety. That might have triggered him to go off. I mean, it's it's nobody knows what make people do this type of stuff, but I I hope he wasn't working after this commitment into the hospital. I mean, your employer has to be notified. It got to be some type of protocol. I don't know. Then you guys know the protocol of somebody being committed if the job is notified, or when they. I would think they would have went to his house to see if he had guns or 
been like, okay, you can't be around the weapons or I'm just saying something's off with this. Guys, leave me a comment. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. I think this could have been prevented. You know, if the uh, proper somebody messed up in this, that's all I'm going to say. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.